In our previous video, we analyzed the Niobe and Oracle scene from Enter the Matrix. There, the Oracle revealed something important about the Path of the One, but her revelations did not end with that conversation. This video game has many scenes that reveal elements that we never knew about the films, such as how the Oracle lost her original shell or the love that Ghost has for another. Today, we are going to be analyzing the Oracle's meeting with Ghost. Welcome to Matrix Explained. This scene begins similarly to Niobe's. Ghost questions who is the person that is sitting at the Oracle's kitchen, but unlike Niobe, Ghost simply tests the Oracle by asking a question. You must be Ghost. Who are you? I am the Oracle. If that's true, then what's my response to that postulate? Truth is an event, and only through experience can the veracity of a truth be verified. William James. You're asking me to prove it? Can you? I can tell you that I only remember bits and pieces of my past. I don't remember your face, but I remember your heart. The Oracle saying that she only remembers bits and pieces of her past is very interesting because it is a story detail that has never been disclosed in the films. The destruction of the Oracle's original body also affected her memories. Matrix programs like the Oracle can't change their shells on a whim. A price must be paid. As an extra piece of information for those of you who don't know, the actress who played the Oracle in The Matrix and Matrix Reloaded passed away before completing the filming of the sequels, and so she was recast in Revolutions. But instead of the characters interacting with the new Oracle as if nothing was different, like in every other film franchise that has a major cast substitution, the directors wrote in the story a clever reason for her sudden change in appearance, to which Enter the Matrix explains in greater detail than the movies themselves. We'll get to that explanation later on in the video. You asked me one question, if she would ever love you. I told you only as a friend, as her brother. Yes, I remember that smile. I recall asking what you were thinking, but I can't remember what you said. I thanked you. Why? Because I felt freed. From what? Expectation. Love is a common theme in the Matrix. Just like Niobe, Ghost's path is tied to his feelings for another red pill. Trinity. Ghost was in love with Trinity and was tormented by this. Though the Oracle did give him some peace of mind by affirming that Trinity would never love him, as he loves her. In another scene from this game, Persephone asks Ghost for a kiss and mentions his secret love. You're in love, are you not? If you want me to help you, all you must do is kiss me as though you were kissing them. What? If you kiss me as if you were kissing your true love, I'll tell you where your friend is. And there is also a scene in which Ghost and Trinity are training together in the Construct, and Trinity questions Ghost's marital status. When are we gonna find you a girlfriend? Like Augustine, I'm dedicated to a higher purpose. What's that? Onanism. Is that why so many saints are blind? Celibacy is a hands-on job. Hmm. Ghost dedicated his life to fighting for human liberation from the Matrix. He had accepted the fact that he will never be with the woman he loves, but instead of moving on, he chose to reject the desires of the body. He has rid himself of all expectations. You could say that Ghost is Cypher's exact opposite, the man who could not free himself from his lust for Trinity. They are opposites, just as Smith and Neo were opposites. Continuing with the Oracle's conversation with Ghost, he asks her the obvious question, what happened? Can you tell me what happened to you? Two programs that I trusted sold the termination code of my original shell to the Merovingian. Why did they do that? For love, for the life of their child. 
the Oracle is of course talking about Ranma and Kamala, the programs that made a deal with the Merovingian to save their daughter, Sati. Sati was a program with no purpose, thus she had to be deleted. So her parents Rama and Kamala sold the termination code to the Merovingian in exchange for her safe transportation to the Matrix. We still do not know what Sati's purpose is. Even her mother Kamala's purpose is quite vague. However, her father Rama introduces himself to Neo in great detail. I am the power plant systems manager for recycling operations. My wife is an interactive software programmer. She is highly creative. If we analyze Rama's title and description, we could interpret his job as being in charge of recycling the bodies of the dead to feed the living, as Morpheus once described. Watch them liquefy the dead so they could be fed intravenously to the living. Recycling operations could also mean recycling programs and or resources and repurposing them into the new matrix cycles, alluding to something similar to reincarnation. There is much to learn about Sati's parents and what they do, but that's for a future video. What is clear is that these two programs were once allies of the Oracle, but they betrayed her. They had access to her shell's termination code and sold it to an enemy program. Yet the Oracle did not try to stop them. You knew about it and yet you let it happen? I had to. Why? Because the child is important. I can't tell you why, but I believe that one day the child will change both our world and your world forever. The Oracle is explaining to Ghost that Rama and Kamala's betrayal was necessary. Sati had to be saved because she was important for both the Matrix and the real world. This is why we have theorized that Sati may play a fundamental part in Matrix 4. Perhaps Sati will be the one that truly changes the paradigm of the Matrix and creates a true new beginning. Is that why you called for me? No, I am trying to prepare those that stand in the front lines of our coming trial. We stand upon the edge of a precipice, the fall from which we will not return. Each of us must find courage when we are most afraid to do what we must. That is our only hope. Like her conversation with Niobe, the Oracle is preparing her soldiers for the end. The end that will change the Matrix. The conversation concludes with the Oracle asking a question. Ghost, you still love her, don't you? As much as she loves another. That is a hard path to walk. Nietzsche said it best, one must want nothing to be different, not forward, not backward, not in all eternity, not only bear what is necessary, but to love it. Amor Pati. As mentioned earlier, Ghost's love for Trinity does not stop him from fulfilling his duties and destiny. His will and philosophy are unbending. He is, without a doubt, one of the wisest of the Red Pills. You're a good man, Ghost. If somehow we do survive, if the path does continue, I hope it is made by others like you. As far as we know, Ghost survived the events of Matrix Revolutions, so there is a possibility that we will see him again in the future. Here's hoping that one day we will see this character's origin story and how his path ends. But do you agree? Did you know that Ghost was in love with Trinity? and that he represents the opposite philosophy of Cypher. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.